Hey guys, Brian here. I thought I would do a quick EDC. Uh, don't worry, I haven't crashed into a group of trees. This is just a parking spot. Um, but yeah, so first thing on the list is my Benchmade Freak. This is the, uh, that's what it's called, the Benchmade Freak. And it is just one of the best knives that I have ever had the pleasure of holding in my entire life. Uh, cost me a pretty penny, this thing. Cost me... Uh, about two hundred and forty dollars. I got a discount because I uh, I buy a lot of knives from the guy that I bought it from, so he gave me a discount. But this is made of M4 steel, as you can see. That's one of the best steels that you can get. It's uh, people who are serious about knives, they buy M4 steel. There are of course different steels and better steels and things like this, but. Uh, for me, I, I really wanted a tough, durable knife that I'm going to carry with me for a long, long time. Something that I'm going to carry and, and give to my, my children, and hopefully they'll pass it on to their grandchildren, or to my grandchildren. Um, so, this is going to be with me for quite a long time, up until next week when I lose it miraculously. <laughs> so... Um, Benchmade is a very, very good knife company, for those of you that don't know. They are exceptionally good at basically everything there is to do with knives. They're they're like the Ferraris of knives. So, uh, eight hundred pound breaking strength on this locking bar here. It uh, springs backwards, and as you can see, that knife just falls down. It's a uh, just a little bit got a little bit of. Uh, stickiness to it i need to go through there and clean it out but um the handle is micarta i think i told you that but uh it's got a bunch of layers in there and that classic that that red and the black and the dark gray i mean come on that looks great the next thing that i carry with me is my phoenix flashlight this is a phoenix tk16 and let me tell you, this is one of the most durable flashlights that I've ever had. I have about three Phoenix flashlights. As a matter of fact, I only have Phoenix flashlights because they're just so good. 3,000 lumens. Um, this one has the uh, insert, I think it's carbide steel. I could be wrong. I can't remember. Um, look how trippy that is. Look how cool that is. Anyway, these have the three glass breakers. They're not just sharpened bits of aluminum or uh, just regular old steel. These are actual glass breakers. I haven't used them, obviously, because I wouldn't want to do that. But um, it has about, uh, I think, five settings. There's low, there's a dim, low, medium, high, and then turbo. And turbo is about 3,000 lumens or 3,300. I can't remember. But very durable, waterproof, obviously. As you can see, it's uh, getting kind of dinged up already. But uh, even on cold days, like if I'm outside and I'm really cold, I'll turn this thing on turbo and I'll just hold it right here because it gets really warm. Um, and so it even has that little warning there not to leave this on near anything easily flammable so and i have lit matches with this thing so that's kind of cool it takes it's kind of tricky to do but anyway i use that every single day uh, a lot of times i have to look under trailers at night and uh, i wanted something that was very very durable this is the leatherman surge this is the special black edition um, this thing is just, it's really heavy, but I don't mind it being heavy. Um, I really wanted it to be very durable, very useful, versatile. Plus, Leatherman is very near and dear to my heart because it's made in Portland, Oregon. And so, this one has all the fun features. It's got scissors. Uh, I've even had to sharpen the scissors because I foolishly used them on, I can't remember, but I... I used it on something I wasn't supposed to. It has a removable uh, file. That's a wood file there on the end. On this side, it's a diamond file. That's removable. Um, 
that's just so handy because if it breaks, you don't want to have to send this off to Leatherman. You can just buy a replacement and replace it yourself. That thing unlocks there and you could just pop a new one in or that comes with an optional wood saw. The wood saw comes in a little sheath that goes into my little, uh, my little, um, what you call it, belt sheath for this thing. And so uh, another thing that I really like about these, filming is hard to do with one hand. Um, look at those pliers. Look how chompy those things are. I bet I could cut down a tree with those things. Uh, very durable. These are replacement bits. Um, these are replacement wire cutter bits there, as you can see. Uh, this is worn out. It's it's getting pretty used up. Um, again, not going to go through all of it, but there's a replacement uh, Phillips head reversible flat head bit in there. you got your standard issue can opener bottle opener all these things it wouldn't be a multi-tool if it didn't have a bottle opener on it it's also got a reaming tool a large flat screwdriver and a very small flat screwdriver um, and i have used pretty much every tool no i have used every tool on this thing so uh, very tough very durable and totally worth uh, the money that i spent on it like i said this one is the special edition black one um the special edition was only like ten dollars more maybe less i can't remember but i thought hey if i'm gonna buy one of these i want to buy the cool one so again this just goes on my sheath right there in my pocket and i've had this thing for about six months and that sheath is still in perfect condition so let's see what else i have my apple watch here this is the apple watch 7 it didn't come with the leather band but uh um i don't need to explain to you how awesome the apple watch is it's waterproof just a whole bunch of really cool features on it and yeah so i carry that with me all the time especially when i'm outside or out in the trees or whatever uh it's just a dead useful thing if i gotta check a uh if I have to check a, a message on my phone and I don't want to grab my phone because I'm driving, I'll just look on here real quick and it'll say text from Steve or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And then on my keychain, I have my uh, Victorinox Mini Champ. Look how cool that thing is. Um, again, not going to go through all the tools on this. But one of my favorites is that ballpoint pen. And yeah, it's as cool as it sounds. Um, I have used that quite a bit. There's a knife on there, a little bit of, a little tiny pair of scissors, this really awesome mini screwdriver multi-tool, obviously the tiny knife, the nail cleaner. I use the nail cleaner quite a bit. Cuticle pusher, it's got a, uh, totally flat knife so it's not the curved one and it has a uh a little diamond file there for your fingernails and so that one was really awesome that was just an impulse buy i didn't have any functional need to buy that i just wanted one so i bought it in here uh, i'll tell you a short story because this is already an eight minute video um this is actually uh uco stormproof matches that i have trimmed i'm not going to take it out because they're hard to put back in um but in here uh there is either seven i think it's seven uh stormproof matches that i've trimmed to fit into this little canister as well as a striker strip and as you can see uh let's see if i can do this yeah it's getting kind of there uh it's hard to focus with the with the phone but yeah they're they're waterproof um now the reason why i use matches instead of perhaps a survival lighter or even a p lighter is because i'm not going to be using these very often um these are truly a survival only situation i have used the matches before i have opened them up and started the fire with them uh, I was a little embarrassed because these are really awesome matches and it took me forever and like almost all of my matches to start one fire. 
uh, just because everything, <laughs> everything that I could find was a lot wetter than I thought it was. So, uh, got to be real careful. You got to brush up on your fire making. So anyhow, um, little story about this. I was, uh, a couple years ago, I was out just walking through the trees and just kind of enjoying myself. It was really hot that day. It was the perfect camping weather, perfect beach weather. It was just wonderful. And I thought, Hey, you know what? I haven't had a campfire in a long while. I'm going to start a campfire. And so just a small one. And I got all the stuff ready and I realized I didn't have anything to start this fire. And I was like, oh man, that's so embarrassing because I grew up, you know, in the Pacific Northwest. I grew up camping all the time and everything else. I should know how to start a fire. And aside from using a spindle and board, which I'm not very versed at using, um, I was actually kind of ashamed of myself because I didn't have a way of starting a fire. If I was stuck out there, I, you know, I wouldn't have died of hypothermia because like I said, it was like 80 degrees that day. But uh, I would have had to have, <laughs> I would have had to live with the shame of being a grown man who didn't know how to make a fire. So um, anyway, I decided from that day forward, I would never go anywhere without the ability to make a fire. And so that's why I carry this. This little canister is nothing special. You can find this in the medicine aisle at Walmart. As a matter of fact, that's what this thing is. It's a emergency container for medicine. If you have a, like a heart attack or a stroke or something like that, I don't know how those medicines work, but anyways, that is my EDC and, uh, that is everything that I carry with me except for my, my ring here. Uh, that's the Jerusalem cross. It represents the five wounds of Christ. Um, I carry that with me just as a, uh, not just as a piece of jewelry, but as a, a reminder to me on the days where I'm having a really frustrating, stressful day, I remind myself that God is always with me. And it, it's also a reminder of exactly what it took to pay for my mistakes. And so uh, I painted it red for obvious reasons, but, um, anyway, just kind of, just kind of a, a reminder. It's like a signet ring. You know, when you wear a signet ring, it means that you belong to a family. And I wear this because I belong to the family of God. And so I need to behave as such as well. So anyway, that is my EDC and more videos will follow. Thanks for watching.